how to install a USB charger 12 volt outlet in your car. Stay tuned. JW Solar USA, like and subscribe. So you guys have seen this uh, box before. This is where I have my uh, sealed acid batteries, little batteries like for UPC, APC. So I'm just telling you, I still have the Duracell in there. So we got a new device in the house. We want to make sure I show you how to install a USB charger, 12 volt outlet in your car on your battery box so today what we have here we order self here um, a little device that we has um, meters on it and illuminate this is the wire and this is the charger this is um, uh, it has uh, a waterproof on it I think it's IP65 or something. So this one's going to illuminate the entire place here. So this is the charger. It has on and off button here. And it's a fast charger, intelligent charger. A quick charger, fast charger, the IQ. So we're going to be doing that today. I'm going to show you how we're going to go about it. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Here's the wire that came with it. So it has a little fuse on it, a fuse block or inline fuse, as you call it. And if you twist this one, there's a fuse in there. So it might be a, a one amp fuse. And um, I just dropped it. It's hard to see on a light. On the camera I suppose uh, alright guys if you look at it here you will see a positive sign and a negative sign here minus and plus and this is the wire I came with a inline fuse on it so we have to plug the the red to the positive and the black to the negative so this is how you connect it and it goes to your car or if you, if it's in your car you have to make sure you plug it to um the fuse box so you can have this one control when um the the acc on your car when you turn your car one turn and like you power your stereo this one will be uh on instead of being constantly on so it's going to be regulated by the switch if you put it on the power um uh, fuse box so we have a ring terminals here that are supposed to be going for the positive and the negative on this so we're going to try and put it into the batteries here and see how everything works well due to the terminals i don't want to de um, detach the uh the batteries terminals here so i'm going to use my uh alligator clips which are these ones here I'll get a clips and just clamp it right here and clip clip so it's a so it could be a quick video for you guys to see not to, to be a long one stay tuned so here are the alligator clips so we're gonna take utilize this alligator clips and this is the meter right here and we're gonna tie the positive to the positive here okay let's keep it this way it can be inside and we have the negative here to the negative. Okay, so we cover this one up. Okay, so we already have them connected with the alligator clips. So we have this side here. And after that, we're going to plug um, a cell phone to see it gives her the charge. So we're going to take this uh, other side of this other end. These are the other ends. These are the other ends. These ends, we're going to be tied to the battery. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So you make sure you, when you go connect your battery, it's going to be drawing from the opposite side of the battery. Okay. So if we come all the way here, we can take the negative 
and clip it right on the negative right there. Okay. And we have to come on the other side here. We're always trying to draw the battery in the opposite direction. So, so this is the meter right here. I'm going to clip this one. Okay, so it's off. Let's see. So we already plug, see the positive here and the negative over there. So you draw in the opposite direction. So now we have the machine or the, the charger, USB charger, a 12 volt. So it's going to work if you push this button here. So there you go. Illuminate. So it tells us the state of charge of the battery. Okay. Okay. Let me turn the light off so you can see it better. All right. Here we are. So this is the um, the meter. So if you press and hold it, it's going to power on. It's going to do a diagnostic. The light's going to run all the way here to, to the 14.6. And it's going to start the, the device. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. So part of the machine. See that? Do a diagnostic. And it sits right away to the 14, which is a 12.6. So let's see it clearly. Twelve point six, so that's the state of charge. It will come to if it's an alternator in the car. It might be running all the way to the fourteen if you're charging the uh, the, the the batteries. So this is the state of charge. You press and you press this one. It's gonna go off. It gives you a standby light shown on the corner right here. So let's see. See that? So if you wanna turn this power off completely. This is going to be just running, but you don't want the meter to be on. Push it one more time. And you push it and hold it. It's gone. Press and hold. Then it's going to completely turn off. So if you want to see the meter. So. So it's telling us batteries are not completely charged. They are charged, but not um, completely charged. So we have a 12 point six instead of thirteen point eight because they've been sitting for a while supposed to be on the green so let's do the charge in here and see how everything works now i have a charger it is an iphone charger you can see um the plug is different from uh, android so this is how it looks like and uh, i know you guys know how was the charger or charger used to for the charger you can use for iPhone or Android? Ta -da -da, look at that. Star Wars is this. You have a Star Wars guy here for all you big fans. Like and subscribe. You know, you see my case, cell phone case. So we're going to plug, plug this one to the iPhone charger. To the iPhone port, and now we're gonna be using, utilizing this part. We can plug this one in, and uh, you can see the iPhone is gonna pop up right away. All right, so we have this. I'm gonna be showing you and pressing the button. Power it up. Let's see, the iPhone is supposed to power up. Right, I go. There you go. So, see that? Look at that. I think that's the rhythm when it's charged. If you look at it here on the iPhone, you will see it's charging. Is a 96%. You can see the lightning bolt on the corner. 
so this is how it charge you see the rhythm right there so just go with it all right Like and subscribe, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Bye for now. We're charging the cell phone. All right, now let's add uh, the charger, our intelligent charger, which is um, the BC1224A, which is a VMAX, 12 volt VMAX tank, BC1220A. That's a 20 amp charger. So let's see what we're gonna do and try to charge this battery since they've been sitting for quite a while. And for you guys have been following me, you know these batteries are just sitting here. They've been here for a while and we don't charge them as we, or we should. How are we supposed to be charging them? But uh, we just have to let them sit because we're not using them at the moment. Just about trying to... Uh, do our thing make sure that we keep them um make the they, they can be healthy that's the that's the word so i'm gonna try and set up this charger somewhere which i'm fighting with right now <laughs> i'm fighting with the charger right now so we're gonna turn the charger on and we have to look at the meter we are going right now. He's going to be telling us the, what state it is right now. Okay. Now we have the battery hook up right there. And we are number four, I think so. So I think it's saying absorbing whatever it is no, right there. I think it's number four. Yep, number four. So it's charging. So let's look at our meter here, the new uh, USB 12 volt one. Let's see the readings here. So supposed to be high now. See that the green lights illuminate. Can you see that now? Because it's putting more power, more volt into the battery. And you see the, the the blinking or the light the last um LED light there. See that? So it's not still fourteen point six yet, so we are just fourteen point two, I suppose. Yeah, 14.2. Look at the bottom here. So 14.2. So it's charging. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the green, and that means the battery is all supercharged or way charged. Thanks for watching, guys. Just want to show you, and um, the intelligent charger is doing the job right there. It's going to be after it's going to be a diagnostic test and everything to keep these batteries healthy again. Almost forgot about them. Because they're always in this box and since we're preparing to get our 12 volt system ready these are some of the components that we're going to be utilizing to get this uh, 12 volt system work this is a charging uh, um, system for our devices USB charging port 12 volt so we can go like this go on the standby like this it's not like a standby, we just took the meter that's supposed to be reading. This is the gauge, the state of charge, telling you the voltage. 
and here is just gonna be a regular for any car this light illuminate so push it and hold it it's gonna go off so it's power off completely power on is on the meter is gonna be always on like this and you're charging thanks for watching like and subscribe JW Solar USA here in Minnesota stay tuned for more to come